Und die Königskinder war wie die ja. I feel super excited to be back here in Amsterdam with DNO, still one of the very best opera companies in the world. And to be back with this project is very exciting for me. Königskinder is one of the forgotten pieces, but this is a masterpiece. It has been a big, big success in Met Opera a hundred years ago, and we have to bring it back on stage. Königskinder is, of course, a fairy tale like Hansel and Gretel, but this is by far the more profound and emotional piece with very rich colors and music, like more symphonic. It took me a year actually to read the story, then the music, and bring it all slowly together. You have to create it from the scratch, literally. Humperdinck leaves a lot of space to his interpreters, and that's wonderful because we can literally do what we want. It's very special to have that approach to a piece which nobody knows. This is really a fantastic occasion for me. It just feels like a second world premiere here in Amsterdam. It's really great to have Mark Albrecht back with the, the Netherlands Philharmonic. It's been almost four years and uh, it's just like coming home. He's really familiar to us and it's a nice easy flow for all of us to get back into. Als iemand zo naar chef is geweest, dan ben je eigenlijk familie. Dus er komt iemand terug die deels hetzelfde DNA heeft en uh, ja, dat is eigenlijk meteen weer zoals vanuit. Mark is uh, zo vertrouwd. We hebben zo lang met hem gewerkt. En heel veel opera's gedaan. Ja, vanaf de eerste vrouw in chat en tot ja, Dan Hoyser en de meeste zingers. En uh, zoveel fantastisch repertoire. En het is geweldig om weer met hem te werken. Heel goedemorgen allemaal. Hey. Königskinder is definitely a fairy tale for grown-ups. Six before one thirty-five, right? Because we can really see things uh, which uh, are not fulfilled, or where we failed, or we lost something. It's very much a piece of our days also because it's about minorities. It also has to do about exclusion, about a society which is hermetic and doesn't allow any new development. The Königskinder cannot live. They have not given a place of existence and the only place where they can finish their lives is the forest. So mm, it is dark, it is depressive, yes. It really helps that Mark knows the orchestra so well. Das war eine Schlacht in den After 10 years, he knows what kind of sound he wants to bring out of the orchestra, like we did with Schreker operas and the other ones uh, from years ago. It is actually the klank. Eh? Je merkt toch dat die toon, die geluid, die diepte, die kleur, uh, die zijn er nog. The sense to bring this piece is that we can build on a mutual experience what we have in this repertoire and on that very specific sound what we can create. And this is a super exciting and touching piece and something not to miss. Nice. Very good. See you after tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.